there's more to money than dollars and cents. You need to think about your heart, take care of your heart, take care of your life, and put some effort into taking care of your money. This week on Your Money Minute, I'm gonna be covering a grab bag of advice for your life and for your money to get your finances in shape and to get the life you want. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about therapy. Yeah, that touchy-feely stuff. Yes. When you can find a really good therapist, I strongly recommend that you add that to your life. How do you find a really good therapist? Well, you ask your friends, you ask your colleagues, you ask other therapists. Perhaps there's a therapist who's an acquaintance and you don't really want to risk your friendship with him or her, and they'll advise you, oh, try so-and-so or try so-and-so. So why a, a professional therapist instead of members of your book club? Well, a professional therapist has been there, done that with dozens of other clients, and your friends haven't really. A therapist will not tire of you explaining your woes and trying to sort out your emotional problems. Your friends may very well tire of that. A therapist is going to be objective. Your friends are going to pat your hand, offer you a glass of wine or a beer, and say, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Well, that's nice and that's supportive, but it doesn't necessarily help you get to where you want to go. Remember, financial independence is unbelievably liberating. When you have your act together and you're not distracted by emotional woes or concerns because you have a therapist, then you can concentrate on saving for the future, reaching your financial goals. If you'd like tips on how to do this, new tips every week, then subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can join me in financial independence.